these two are the cutest. They're supposed to be winging around and taking some exercise. And yeah, the only exercise that they are doing is nesting in the kit scratcher. So that is T-Bag the Barney and Frank the Kiwi. Or guinea pig if you prefer. And looky here. There's Lucky. And he is in the other kit scratcher. You guys are supposed to be having exercise and running around. <laughs> You're so pretty. Righto, so I am out where I go and you can see, obviously here, I have three very vintage patterns and a slightly more modern one but no less still quite old. And yeah, these are really really pretty and they have been set in my collection for a little while and I want to start to make them. However, before I start getting into all the main fabric and everything like that, here, where I have been thrifting a little while ago, I have bought with me some bed sheets so I can make some mock-ups out of these three patterns because obviously the sizing and everything like that and want to get the measurements correct and obviously need to tweak for sizing anyway but also most vintage patterns you have to tweak anyway so yeah that's kind of where I am at today okay so I have pulled out this pattern young star and it is a size bus 34 and yeah I really really adore really old vintage patterns and yeah look has the perforations there see that and little holes there absolutely love all that and if you look carefully on this side the paper is a little bit more shiny as opposed to the under which is less shiny and to the touch it's actually a little bit rougher so that is also how you determine which way to lay the patterns but obviously the instructions also show you which are here and yeah so we have all the laying out there we go that way around <laughs> All the instructions there it looks so I don't know basic because it's literally just one sheet of paper that aside and also that aside however there is a lot of information it's kind of like they get to the point immediately with the instruction which is awesome Okay, so sadly on the pattern here that you can see there are three pieces missing. This is the first time I actually went in and looked at this. That's how long it have been in my collection for a whole bunch of time. Anyhow, it is what it is and yes, it is the shirt pieces. So obviously the front body, spec bodies and yeah, I could self-draft, take a whole bunch of time extra. I may give that a go, but it is a little bit disappointing. If not, I'll just have to do my best to find another pattern. Oh, no. so the Vogue pattern pieces, they are all there. And look, also adding to the history is the previous owner of this pattern has written down some measurements and calculation. So yeah, all the math is there. And the perforations on here, if you can see, they actually have the words written out. So that is great. I really enjoy things like that. Just kind of looking at the patterns over the years, how they slightly change. And then we have the actual instructions. So they're the data side. And then we have that aside and it's like, well, it kind of looks a little bit complicated, but as you kind of look through, it is not so complicated.
Okay, as you can see here, I have a few fabrics, and yeah, I have had these quite a few years, most of them, and yeah, I had to pack them up and put them in boxes in the attic, and I went up yesterday and had a quick side out in that box, bought some of the fabrics down, and just going to kind of measure and kind of just go through and see what I am going to keep in kind of the area which is more easily accessible and fabrics that I will not perhaps use very often will just kind of go in the less accessible area you know what I mean we kind of have areas like that that's kind of go to and not so go to although we kind of keep everything for just in case now I know probably for the most part I will keep a lot of these fabrics I'm not sure about the green one but definitely all the other ones because great for crafting projects and things like that yeah a couple of blankies here and again these are pure wool and yeah I cannot kind of have anything pure wool against my skin so if any of these were going to go on the bed there would have to be some sort of sheet to kind of divide this into my skin so then this would not actually touch my skin However, I did kind of purchase this for more kind of crafting projects. Then I have this dress, which I wore at the sewing retreat. And yeah, it, I really like the fabric and I'll insert a photo of the pattern. But I made this kind of full length and yeah it just does not look good on me being full length so what I am going to do is probably cut this down to the regular length because I have made the vintage well it's modern based on an original vintage pattern and I have made that before but for some strange reason I decided I thought I would like a long MIP dress floor length and yeah it just did not look good on me at all but then to be fair a lot of things do not look good on me even though I still make things because I just like certain styles Actual rain! Oh my goodness! It was actually sunshine this morning. Just had to film this because obviously it's just been sunny, 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 blue skies. But evidence, it does actually rain sometimes here. If you could hear me over the rain, there is a little delivery and yeah, this one is inside and another one here. Yep, the Pedium Parents Nest, some fabrics. And then, literally, just by complete magic, look at that, back to blue skies again.
The sun is absolutely scorching again today, almost December, like what is it with it already? Anyway, as always guys, thank you so much for commenting and taking the time to watch my videos and if you'd like to subscribe for those that have not, hit that red button and please give me a like. Have a wonderful week guys and weekend, whatever you are up to. Thank you.